his opponent thanks to her this fight is scheduled for two 30 second rounds of loud high pitch incoherent rambling Christy <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. This fight starts now. Christy told me that she's been celibate for two years. That's a really fancy way of calling yourself unfuckable. <laughs> <laughs> Christy's pussy is more barren and empty than the hole in Rachel Jones' heart after her dad left her. <laughs> Christy, you could put on a hundred pounds and you still wouldn't be able to catch a black dick. <laughs> Christy is the only autistic girl that even I wouldn't fuck. <laughs> Christy has a lot in common with Rachel Jones. I'm a lawyer for both of them. Their failed suicide attempts are somehow even more embarrassing than their failing comedy careers. And I wouldn't fuck either of them with David Spector's herpes covered dick. <laughs> Chrissy <Christy> Bell. <laughs> Look at you, you motherfucking misogynist pig with your easy joke. Your 89 cent Walmart clothing that your fucking Pakistani cousin just made last week. <laughs> law degree <laughs> from fucking Phoenix Tech. <laughs> Faisal, oh, God. you are the HPV of society. Every time you talk, a woman drops dead. <laughs> Round two starts now. Those are some great jokes that Francesca Day wrote for you. Anyway, Christy's stand-up is the reason why Rainy get paid 77% as much as men. <laughs> Christy used to work a job where she tested makeup on pigs. Her official job title was called Alex Engelbert's Makeup Artist. <laughs> Him. Christy will be performing at the Cinder Block Comedy Festival this year. If you haven't heard, it's a festival consisting entirely of female comics who all look like they got hit in the face with a cinder block. <laughs> Christy and I both have parents who are very disappointed in us. My parents are disappointed in me because I chose law over medicine. Christy's parents are disappointed in her because she chose stand up over suicide. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Fazzle, your balls are so fucking sandy. <laughs> you know what's sandier than Fazzle's balls, you guys? What? The real estate that his father currently resides in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dead dad joke. <laughs> Basil is like Simba from The Lion King. The only difference is Mufasa actually loved his son before he died. <laughs> Pope is back, what do you say, Pope? Dead, dead, knockout! Yeah!